So welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to the Night Village of Extreme Speed. This is going to be a really cool episode. We're about to do a challenge inside of the video. Check this out. We currently have a level 5 battle machine. What we're going to do, we're going to see how many gems it costs to send the battle machine from level 5 and max it out to level 10 inside of this episode right now. Now currently we have 4,773 gems. We're going to buy some more. And we're going to keep buying them until we max out our battle machine to level 10. The only question I have for you, my subscribers, is how many gems in total will it cost to send the battle machine to level 10? Take a guess down below in that comment section, guys. Whoever gets the right answer will win 5 cookies. Chocolate, of course. But check this out, guys. Alright, so first off, we're going to need to, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need to buy ourselves some gems. So, as I said... Take a guess down below in that comment section, how many gems in total will it cost to send the battle machine from level 5 to level 10? I'm going to take a guess. I reckon it's going to cost 11,000, but let's get ourselves a chest of gems. So do not forget guys, also on Sunday, the 1.9 million subscriber giveaway ends. We are giving away to you, my subscribers, $250 this Sunday, just two days away. It is five $50 prizes, some for Android, some for iTunes. If you want the chance to win them, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, guys. That is it. We are picking five random subs on Sunday. Do not forget, we also are hiding a gift code inside of the episode. We have hidden a gift code. If you want the chance to win it, keep watching, keep those eyes open, and uh, leave a like on the episode to get some good luck. Let's go for... Let's go for how many gems we have. 18,773 likes. So let's do this. We got that many gems. Of that amount, how many are we going to have remaining at the end of the episode? I have absolutely no idea. But let's um, let's go into the treasury and let's fill up our elixir. So it's going to cost us 1,475 gems so far just to fill the elixir. And that's going to take it to 1.6 million. But I actually want to fill up my elixir storages, guys. I will gem them. I might gem them at the end of the episode, actually. I think we're going to need to upgrade them now because I don't think we have enough storage space to um, to actually max out this battle machine. So let's just gem these storages. There's the second one over there. And they're going to be maxed out at level 6. And uh, I believe that will max out at 2 million elixir now. Let's just double check. Yes, it will, guys. So there we go. We got 2 million elixir and we've already spent over 2,000 gems. This is going to be an expensive video. Don't forget, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, guys, there is a link down below to misplay. Try it out if you've never used it before. But 1.5 million, he is going to go to, what is that, level 6, another 499 gems. Now, I'm not actually going to count how many gems it costs. At the end of the episode, I think we'll do it. But uh, let me know down below, how many gems does it actually cost to send this dude from level 5 through to level 6? So we're going to need to buy ourselves, of course, some more elixir. Another 1,253 gems. He is going to go to, what is it? That's level 7, right? Yeah, let's just, um, let's grab a screenshot of that dude there, guys, if we want to, oh, the, uh, the villager was in the way, go away, villager. Let's grab a screenshot, oh, look what the, uh, look what that builder's doing. He's got, like, a little, oh, it's his little blueprint, he's got his blueprint out, guys. One more, one more screenshot just for a thumbnail, okay, there we go. 499 gems. That is a level, what is that, level 7? 7. 1.7 million, 1,500 gems. Another 499 to gem him. 1.8 million, 1,600 gems. 499 to gem him. And of course, the final level, guys. Let's upgrade him to um, level 10. And he's going to cost me a ridiculous 499 gems. So, and there we go, guys. A level 10 battle machine. Now, obviously, we started with, what, 18,500 gems? I think 18,773. So it's cost us over 11,000 gems to take him from level 5 to level 10, which is about, I believe, $80. So this episode has literally just cost me $80. Damn, that's expensive. But there we go, guys. We got a level 10 battle machine, and uh, we're about to test this dude out inside of some live battles to see if he was worth the money. If you think he was not worth it and I just wasted my money, leave a like on the episode. If you think he was worth it and i done a good job, make sure you comment down below and Tony rules. Let's see how many people think I wasted my money. But uh, let's do this, guys. So, we got some Night Witches. I don't think we have... I don't think we've got anything in the research center. Let's research something. Um, what should we do? 
Let's do beta minions, guys. I really like beta minions. They're going to cost 1,300 gems. And you know what? Let's head over to the main village as well. And let's... Oh, we're already doing wall breakers. Stay tuned. Tomorrow's episode will be these wall breakers. We're going to gem them. And we're going to do some trolling, guys, using those brand new level 7 wall breakers. So stay tuned to see what happens with that. But let's do this for now. Battle machine. He is locked and loaded at level 10. That means he's got a brand new ability. And we should crush some bases. So... Let's try this. Let's try this dude's base. So the roast is on the other side. That's a good thing. Let's open up this guy's base, guys. See if we can get in there and do some real damage. So we got three openings inside of the base. Well, almost three. We've just uh, we've done a lot of damage, though, so it's looking great. Let's take out this crusher here, if we can, using some bombers. Or do a lot of damage to it. Obviously, it's under upgrade anyway, so it's not really that serious. But Battle Machine's going to go in there. We're going to spawn the witches down here. I saw someone do this earlier. You spawn the witches in the corner and it actually allows them to produce a lot more bats before they reach the base, guys. And look at that. They've already taken out the double cannon. There we go. Double cannon's already down. There goes the battle machine's ability. He's going to annihilate that level 5 crusher. Damn. Level 10 battle machine seems to be pretty damn OP, guys. He's also taking out this uh, these air bombs. But I don't know. I think he's going to go down. Yes, he does. Unfortunately... We didn't quite manage to, you know, use them too much, guys. But we're going to try ground attack in a few moments. I just wanted to see what these witches could do with that new level 10 battle machine. Obviously, the witches are only level 5 and still kind of suck a little bit. We're not really high level enough to do loads of damage, guys. So let's just surrender. Let's surrender because we ain't winning that. 30% and, uh, yeah, let's check out this dude. What's he doing to our base, guys? Luca. Oh, he's getting roasted as well. He kind of failed. Damn. His cannon cards are getting roasted by my roaster. This guy only got a 48% one star. And his battle machine looks like he's going to go down. And he's not even going to get a one star on the base, guys. This guy kind of sucks as well. He almost sucks as much as me. But there we go. He got a 48% zero star. But obviously, he did get a victory because I suck even more. But let's get ourselves into a second live attack and see if we can recover. I think we're going to use Rage Barbarians, guys. Because they are... I think they're level 12, and we've also got maxed out bombers, also level 12. So this should be decent. Now, taking a look at this base, it is extremely rushed. So I'm guessing we're going to be doing a lot of damage here, guys. Let's see what goes on. So we're going to drop in more bombers. More and more bombers going to go down. And we're pretty much going to wreck this dude's base using a Rage Barbarian army. Let's just take out this, uh, this guard post. Let's take out every single one of those troops. Battle Machine's going to go in at the top. Gonna drop some Rage Barbarians, try and take out that double cannon. Look for those Mega Mines, guys. They got two Mega Mines inside of the base now, which is, uh, you know, kind of scary. But we're gonna do our best to take them down. So we're gonna drop in some more Rage Barbarians at the top just to take out that final double cannon. There goes the Battle Machine, level 10, special ability, level 2. And he's actually gonna close in on this Crusher. So let's see what he can do to this Crusher. Obviously, he's kind of getting wrecked a little bit, guys. Didn't really manage to do too much in terms of damage, but we did walk away with a 78% total. It's a good percent, but obviously we only got a 1 star, so I think we need to stop messing about and actually try and do some damage. This dude 2 starred my base, but I think we're going to get a higher percent than him. Let's find out, guys. This roaster is pretty damn insane. It's taking out his Rage Barbarians, and uh, they're getting kind of roasted pretty quickly. Here we go. Some coming in for the army camp up the top, guys, but the double cannon... Going to annihilate these uh, these rage barbarians. It looks like we are going to get a higher percent than him, but he's going to do uh, he's going to get a second star. So the battle ends. Let's get ourselves into a possible final live attack. But let's use a serious army this time. So we got the battle machine. We got the rage barbarians. Let's switch it up, guys. We're going to drop in some beta minions, my favorite troop in the game. And the plan is to take out this moldy mortar before we actually proceed into the base. So let's do this. Let's execute and annihilate this dude's base. I I'm going to predict here. I reckon we're going to three star. Let's see if I'm correct. So we are going for a triple. Now the plan is use these beta minions, take out those army camps, dropping a couple more, take out the uh, take out that multi mortar, and then send in bombers to clear the rest of the, uh, the buildings. So looks like the multi mortar is going down. We don't even need any more beta minions. We got one on the gold storage, may as well drop one on the other gold storage, take that down. And the multi mortar has been annihilated, so let's drop in some bombers. Damn. We, uh, we kind of lost those bombers, but we're going to drop in another one. There goes another push trap. 
My bombers got sacrificed, guys. That kind of sucks. There we go. We lost all, all three. Hopefully, this one's going to go for that wall. Yes, he is. You legend. Look at him, a little legend. He's going to chuck his bomb. Blow up that low-level wall. And now we got access into the base. So, let's use a beta minion. Take out those two buildings there, guys. This is going to be good. I reckon we're going to three-star this dude's base. That's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting a triple. Let's see if I'm correct. The last beta minion's going to go down. We cleared the right-hand side. Now we just need to attack, guys, and see what happens. There goes the Battle Machine's ability. In for the double cannon. We know we've already triggered a giant big bomb. So, uh, Mega Mine, sorry. So there's only one left in the entire base. Let's see if we can take it down, guys. Here we go. Rage Barbarian's pouring into the base. We're not going to use the Battle Machine's ability again. We're going to wait for him to arrive onto the Crusher. And then we're going to activate the Battle Machine's ability. Here we go. There he goes, guys. Crusher's going to take out those Rage Barbarians. But level 10 Battle Machine takes it down. And just as predicted... We got a triple, guys. So as soon as we stopped messing about, we pulled it off. Three star in the bag and level 10 battle machine seems to be an absolute unit. So let's do one final live attack, but let's have some fun. Let's go with... What can we do? Check out the base. Okay. What should we do, guys? Should we troll? Let's troll. All max witches. All, oh, sorry. All night witches not maxed out. They're not maxed out. All night witches. And we're going to go with a battle machine. So we're going to spawn in from... We're actually going to attack from this side here. I want to see if we can take out the Moldy Mortar. So let's do that, guys. There go the Witches. And we're going to use the Battle Machine to distract the Moldy Mortar as the Witches come in from the left-hand side. So there goes the Battle Machine's ability. Now I'm hoping these Witches are going to survive and don't get too much in terms of splash damage done to them by the Moldy Mortar. But I don't really know, guys. Let's just wait and see what happens. Obviously, these cannons are picking off my Night Witches pretty damn rapidly. There goes the Battle Machine's ability for the second time in a row, guys. Looks like he's doing a decent job. Moldy Mortar just about to go down the Bat Swarms. Take it out, guys. The Battle Machine actually arrives onto the Builder's Hall. He's getting distracted by the Guard Post. There goes the Battle Machine's ability. Can he take it out, guys? He's got one more shot in him. And he missed it. You suck. And there it is. A 33% zero star. So those witches kind of letting me down constantly. So I think we do need to max them out, guys. Who wants to see me max out the Night Witches next? Leave a like on the episode, and we'll do it. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We're going to end this video here. Stay tuned. There will be some really cool videos coming tomorrow. I have awesome episodes planned, including checking out these new Level 7 Wall Breakers. So have a great weekend, guys. Peace out.